Raider Nation, it's your boy Graphic Raider Man, back with another quick video, the views expressed here at Graphic Podcast. Can cold weather car go against the odds, enter Cleveland, Ohio on a rainy day and beat the Cleveland Browns? Game time weather, 43 degrees. Like I said, it's going to be raining all day. As Raider fans, we all know historically car has not been great in cold weather games. When winter approaches, car kind of tails off. I think we go into Cleveland and get the W, y'all. 38-31. I have a few reasons why. You know what I mean? First of all, our offense is clicking on all, all cylinders. Brian Edwards may be back. Our offensive line is getting a lot more healthy. I don't think Richie Incognito is going to play. I believe Trent Brown will. That is huge. Uh, Miles Garrett. Ankle injury has not practiced all week. Um, Hunt is beat up too. A lot of their guys are beat up right now, y'all. Let's just be real. Um, they're going to be missing their uh, starting right tackle. Austin Hooper not playing. This is a chance to go into Cleveland and beat these guys. We're behind them in the playoff hunt right now. This is a must-win playoff-type environment for us. This is a playoff game for us, y'all. We have to win. The Browns are fifth in the NFL against the run. Another top five run defense that we're facing after we play Tampa Bay, a top three run defense. So we got to get the run going against them, especially in a rainy day. You don't want to you don't want to have to have Carr throwing all over the place. That's when turnovers happen when you're playing in the rain. We all know that. But I, I guess they said that we've been practicing in Vegas with the wet football just to get prepared for that weather. So we'll see. Brown's one of the six teams giving up more than 30 points a game. 31.6. They're giving up 31.6 a game. There's only two other teams. Actually, three other teams. That's worse than them. Vikings, Cowboys, and you guessed it, us. Sucks, man. The defense has to get it together. I know Gruden has been speaking all week about changing up the scheme, getting the D-line going. We shall see. Hopefully, David Irving comes in. I know they put him back on the practice, uh, back on the practice squad, but um, I have a feeling that we're gonna bring him back up. I know that he hasn't played for a while, y'all, but the dude's a, phys a physical specimen. Put him in the game and get him football ready by playing football. That's how you do it, man. Opponents are averaging 288 passing yards against the Browns. That's the third worst in the NFL right now. Their secondary is not good at all, at all. So. In a game where you may want to run heavy, the pass is going to be there. Why not take some shots? You know, Aguilar has been great. Ruggs can potentially have a big game against this Cleveland secondary. I believe that Waller is going to have a huge game. Their linebackers are not good in coverage at all. I believe that Waller has a huge game. Two TDs, over 100 yards. And I believe that Jacobs gets back on track, goes for over 100, and gets a TD. Their offense is averaging 28.5 points a game. That's really good. Um, but I feel our offense is better than theirs. We have way too many weapons. We're not beat up like they are on that side of the ball. I really believe, y'all, that we go into Cleveland and we show them who the better team is. 38-31. Carr overcomes the whole bad weather, you know, bad car type situation. He gets his engine going. That's a bar low key. <laughs> in a cold weather man in Cleveland. Like I said, it's gonna be 43 degrees, raining all day. So it may be a run heavy game. Cleveland was the top running offense in the league before Chubb went down. Now they only have Hunt. Their, their back is okay. The backup is okay. Their offensive line has been really, really good for them this year. But um it's all about who can run the ball more and who can take the shots when need be. With Odell out, um, I know Landry's kind of beat up right now too. He's been on the injured list. Um, he will play though, but um, this is a chance to go in on the road and steal a game on the road and pick up another game in the playoff race, y'all. This is a must-win playoff type game for us. I believe Carr goes in there, has another over 300-yard performance. Yes, even though we're going to run the ball heavy, I believe he's going to take some shots. You know, there was rumblings all week that, you know, they were saying, I guess now we're, um, we're, we're a team that takes the long shots. You know what I'm saying? We're a deep, we're, we're a deep pass team. I love it. It's time to get back to that group, for real, man. That's what we've been known for forever. Get back to it. We have the pieces to make it happen. So let's make it happen. 
Owl Raiders. What do y'all think? Leave me some comments in the comment section. Nation, let me know what y'all think. What's y'all final predictions? Who do you think is going to get off this game for us? And, and, and what do you think? Give me some more predictions and some more, uh, some more things. What does Josh Jacobs do? Leave it in the comment section. What does Waller do? Leave that in the comment section. How many passing yards does DC have? I'm just going to get to rambling now because you know I love talking about my Raiders. But let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this game. It's your boy Graphic Raider. The views expressed here on Graphic Podcast. Once again, we will be live tonight. Y'all pull up to the live and let's talk some Raider football. One.